Good day everyone. I am General together with Nathaniel Mukalan and today I'll be the one discussing to you one of the emerging technology nowadays, the edge computing. So what is edge computing if you may ask? So edge computing is a distributed information technology architecture in which client data is processed at the periphery of the network as close to the originating source as possible. So how does edge computing work? So Gartner predicted that by 2025, 75% of the enterprise generated data will be created outside of centralized data centers. The prospect of moving so much data in situations that can often be time or disruption sensitive puts incredible strain on the global internet, which itself is often subject to congestion and disruption. So edge computing moves some portion of the storage and compute resources out of the central data center and closer to the source of the data itself. Rather than transmitting raw data to the central data center for processing and analysis, that work is instead performed where the data is actually generated. So the principle of this edge computing is very straightforward. If you cannot get the data closer to the data center, then get the data center closer to the data. The concept of edge computing isn't new and it is rooted in decades old ideas of remote, remote computing, such as remote offices and branches offices, where it was more reliable and efficient to place computing resources at the desired location rather than rely on a single central location. So if you try to if you take a look at the edge computing structure, so we now have an idea how does the edge computing work based on the uh, structure. It is uh, put near where the data is being generated. So edge computing versus cloud and edge versus edge cloud. So if we take a look at this uh, picture, we may uh, we may ask why is it looks like a cloud but they have differences so let's try to take a look central uh, comparing edge cloud versus cloud computing and edge cloud computing uh, edge computing so cloud computing is centralized high processing and compute power high latency ai processing power cyber secure and have the greatest storage capacity edge cloud is decentralized low latency dedicated bandwidth where most needed AI processing power networking effect with an other edge site nodes and cyber secure so there is a drawback in the edge cloud where the networking eff effect with other edge site nodes so while the edge computing it is very uh, it is also decentralized same as the edge cloud has the lowest latency among the three saves bandwidth processing and networking limitations so it is one of the drawbacks of edge computing and at the, at the same time it has potential data privacy and cyber security concerns so that is one of the drawback of or disadvantage of edge computing but still why is the edge computing is important computing tasks demand suitable architectures and the architecture that suits one type of computing task doesn't necessarily fit all types of computing tasks edge computing has emerged as a viable and important architecture that supports distributed computing to deploy compute and storage resources closer to ideally in the same physical location as the data source in general distributed computing models are hardly new and the concepts of remote offices branches branch offices data center collocation and cloud computing have a long and proven track record so this is the edge computing use cases it can be used in manufacturing farming network network optimization optimization workplace safety improved healthcare transportation and retail so that's all about edge computing i hope you learn something about edge computing and that's all thank you